What's up guys, it's your boy Kazaris, back with another fun little deck profile, and today we have the brand new Fire Kings. Uh, the, the, archetype, the archetype is not new, but Arvada is brand new. Finally, we finally have it. You might have heard me ranting about it in my last video, um, but I'm extremely excited. I changed the list from the sample list I gave yesterday, um, simply because I've come to realize that Barong is absolutely busted because you want to open Barong with Arvada, because destroying Barong with Ar Arvada is how you maintain your advantage. Because every turn you want to be searching in the standby phase with Barong to just keep snowballing and keep your hand size huge and just prevent your opponent from really just getting enough res more resources than you and being able to kill them pretty easily. Um, so this is the list. Um, I think the core, the quote unquote core, is this, these 13 cards right here. Um, you have three Grunix, three Arvada, three Barong, three F Fire King Island, and then the one Circle. Um, Circle is searchable with Barong, and it bricks turn one, so like it's a great card to have later game, because you can dodge stuff with it, you can attack multiple times um, by destroying like Arvada with it, you can summon back something from the grave, and then the Arvada that you destroyed summons back another something from the grave. Um, so if you have like Arvada on field, end in grave, and a Grunix in grave, you can go attack with Arvada in the battle phase. Uh, circle on, on Arvada, Arvada summon back, or circle summon back the Arvada in the grave, and then the Arvada that was just destroyed summons back the Garunix, and then you can attack for twi two more times for like 4,500. So you can beat over something with the first Arvada and then attack for an OTK with 4,500, so that's pretty relevant. Um, like you have seven quote unquote tech slots, um, but I do think Djal is the best skill to use with with, with these uh, Battle and Boxer, Veil, and Kite Raid. Um, so that kind of just leaves two slots open and that so my reasoning is rekindling is a great destiny draw target um simply because you can just i like it better than wolf bark originally i had wolf bark in this position um but wolf bark a takes your normal summon b is stopped by like canadia fiendish floodgate all that shit um and c can only summon back one whereas rekindling can summon back three doesn't take your normal summon um and allows you to make diamond dire wolf with barong to pop a wrong, keep Diamond Dire Wolf on the field for a pop on the following turn, destroy a bait back row, and trigger Barong's effect in the following standby phase. So, Rekindling is just a better D draw target, and as a one of, I just think it's just it's more it's more powerful and more impactful than I think one Wolf Bark would be. Um, and then I just had one slot left, so I just figured I'd, I'd play Lance in there just because I can trigger D draw. If they have a bunch of back row and I want to resolve a Garunix effect, I can D draw for Lance just to make sure that the Garunix effect goes through and it doesn't get karma or something like that. Or just opening it in general is also good. Um, so it's just a great card overall. Um, extra deck is pretty... It's just, it's very flexible. I just I have two Diamond Dara because this is the one you're going to want to be going into the most. Uh, I have the Die Sigma because in the mirror match, which is... It might become relevant because I really think this deck has tiered potential. Um, Die Sigma is really good for sucking up the opponent's Garunix. Uh, you just survive, trigger D draw, draw for the rekindling, and then you just get to the point in the game where you have three materials you can rekindle, suck up, or get Die Sigma and suck up their Garunix, and then push for game that way. Uh, like rekindling for all three for Die Sigma, suck up, and then normal summon any 1800 beat stick, and you have 4300 on the field. Uh, assuming you can push through Kyroid and Veil, you might not be able to, but at least you stopped their Garunix loop, which is cool. Uh, Deltoros is also just a great target, uh, similar to Diamond Dyer, but it's 2500 beat stick and it stays on the field to pop every turn. So that's a good level, or 3 material, rank 4 to make with Rekindling. Uh, My Stroke is cool because it deals with things, like it can flip face down things that Garunix wouldn't be able to destroy normally. Um, and then uh, Garunix can destroy them because they're face down. And it can protect itself by detaching material, so... It can, it can be an 1800 beat stick that stays on the field after resolving Garunix effect to push for 4500. So that can be relevant. Uh, Marrow Geist is good against Desperado. You can destroy the, uh, Dark Machines and shuffle them back without triggering Desperado in hand, which is kind of relevant. And then Trishula, just in case I get like Floodgated on the Rekindling, because Floodgate on rek Rekindling flips down all three. Um, and if I don't have like a way to destroy them and I don't want my field to be floodgated, then I can just easily make a Trishula. Again, the extra deck is extremely flexible, but so you don't even have to play this. You can just play like another rank four, like Utopia or some shit. Doesn't doesn't matter. But uh, I don't know. I just figured I'd throw it in there because main one, main ones you're gonna be making are these five right here. Um, like the other two are very flexible, uh, but Ebagishki is very good to have as well. Um, so that's the deck. Um, it's very straightforward. I explained it a lot in depth yesterday. Um, 
yeah, we're gonna grab our coffees and we're gonna get clapping. All right, we're up against the Yugi Muto. My split personality. We're going fleeced. Not bad. We set up our Arvada. This deck has a good first turn now. There's the Arvada. Um, we definitely go F Fire King Island, Pop Barong, Search Karunix. Summon Arveda, pass, Barong, search, circle. And we're rolling. We got the Kite Road, we got the Hand Trap. We are Liddy Titties. There we go. Swaykle of the Fire Kings. Throw that ass in a circle. Set three, pass. All right, what's the play, boys? Draw Veil, vale. that's very nice. I think we just go, wait, all right. So we have Fire King Island to pop Garunix, potentially. Um, I think we do just want to get this Garunix in rotation. Yeah, so I'm going to pop a Garunix and search Barong. That way we still have something good to pop with Arvada to negate. Um, I think that is a correct play, and but this way we still get the Garunix in rotation. Um, if he tries to do something to, something to Arvada, we can also just summon back Garunix. Um, or we can summon it depends. So whatever Arvada summons back dies in the end phase. So if we want to, our Garunix to die, we summon back Garunix with Arvada and summon back Barong with Circle of the Fire Kings. I think that is correct. Because the other way around, we summon Arvada with Circle, or we summon Garunix with Circle, and then Barong with Arvada. Barong dies in end phase. Um, we get a search, but Garunix dying in end phase means it comes back and pops Barong for us to get a search anyway. And we've maintained the Grunix on the field again in Nuka's field. So I think that's the correct play. Uh, so I'm just going to go to battle phase. Ah, uh, I'm going to summon Barong. Because Arvada can destroy from field as well. <clears throat> so this way we get two monsters on the field and threaten. Threaten some damage. <clears throat> Canadia, target. Arvada. Okay, I think we just chain circle. Destroy Arvada, summon Barong. We get two searches with Barong now because Barong is not once per turn. So after this uh, Grunix that we summon with Arvada dies and comes back and blows up the field, we'll get double search with Barong, which is really cool. So the Canadia. Uh, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. Still, um, I think it still dies. From Arvada, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Right, that's a weird interaction. We'll we'll see now. It might still die. Hopefully it does. The fuck is that? No. Barret. So to summon Valkyrie, to summon Erda, the one. That, I think he summons Erda here. <clears throat> one that reduces my attack by a thousand or some shit. It makes things that die in battle get banished. So, kind of annoying. Now he summons Shest. Sest. Sest. Uh, if it's special summon, you can special summon a Valkyrie. Oh, cool. I don't know how these cards work. I, I, I mean, kind of. I barely read them. I just don't like the archetype. Brunhild. Unaffected by opponent's spell effects. Gains 500 attack for each monster opponent controls. When opponent's monster can run out your Valkyrie Master coming short. Okay, so I'm, I'm beating over this Canadian anyway, so it doesn't matter. Brunhild. And phase does it die? It does not die off of Arvada. That's kind of annoying. Well, on the bright side, it's it floats if it dies in battle. So we can float into another Arvada and get Arvada effect. Sesht, uh, send the top. Okay, so I he can make me send two, which sends Fire King Island and Grunix. It's not awful. <laughs> we still have the Fire King Island on the field again, so if we go, so if he kills our Garunix in battle, we summon Arvada from deck, and then Fire King Island can pop Arvada to search something, and then Arvada can summon back Garunix from the graveyard. Veda Veda cool, very cool. We can also just overlay this these two Barongs. It's going to tribute for what is that chariot? 
Uh, let's return to the Tarot Fairy. Show battle card effect or show this card instead. The equipment monster can attack directly. Okay, the battle damage is halved. Okay, so you're going to take 1650. Do I just take it? Yeah, I guess I just take it. That's fine. Because if we take it again, I go down to 700 and still trigger something. Um. Oh, wait. We can go. Yeah, we can go Diamond Dire. Get the pop twice. Yeet. <laughs> no, watch this. Watch this. All right, here we go. Loop time, boys. Loop time. Pass. Garunix number one. Come on back. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Nuke the Field. Grunix number two. Come on down. All right. Now every turn. Looping, looping, looping. Loop, loop, loop. You do the loop, the loop, and pull. And your deck is looking cool. All right. Come on down. Bring him back. Pop. Summon. Attack. Nice field you got there. It would be a shame if it got nuked. Nice. Cool. Awesome. Let's do another one. Try and get another win. I want to call with this deck today for sure. Alright, we are up against an Alexis Rhodes. We are going Foist. We open Fire King Island, Barong, Garunix. That is disgusting. With Veil, this is like the ideal hand. So you go FKI, pop the Barong, add the Garunix. Normal summon Arvada, pass. On his standby phase, we go Barong, add circle. And now we, our hand is set up. Um, if he destroys Fire King, or if, if he removes Fire King Island, Arvada dies, but we trigger Arvada to summon back Barong. Plus we have Veil, so we, we are not going to die. And then we have um, a D draw trigger, something like that. So we are more than more than good. And he is going to scoop. Alright, so Okay. <laughs> Let's do another one. Alright, we are up against a Seto Kaiba. We are going second. Not awful. Not the best, but not awful. My hands are cold, dude. It is cold in this apartment. It's got cards of continents. Discarding White Stone of Ancients to draw two. Our hand is not that great. Um, but we do have Veil. Huh. So he can smack us for 3,000. We just activate Veil. We do draw the Fire King Island, though. That is disgusting. Um... I'm going to destroy this Garunix. Search Arvada um, for the following turn, but this turn I'm going to set Barong. Um, and pass to him. Now Garunix will trigger. Nuke the field, unless he has a response. Nope. And then Barong, we get a search with Barong on our next turn. So we'll grab a circle. With the Stone of Ancients, we'll add back Blue Eyes, that's fine. Draw for turn, and we draw a Lance, that's pretty nice. We'll get Barong. Uh, grab Cycle. And now we are rolling, boys. Um, so what's the play here? So now we can go... I think I, 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 think I just summon Arvada. And if this is stone, we just negate it with Arvada, so that's not a big deal. Tries to do something to Arvada, we have Lance. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely a stone, and we're just going to beat over it and negate it with Arvada. So many applications in the current meta, it's pretty nice. Alright, we're going to go... Um... 
Well, I'm going to destroy this Barong just to get an extra monster into the graveyard and get a search. Two searches, technically. And a Karma Cut. Do I just... Hmm... Do I lance or do I circle? That's the question. If I circle, I destroy Garunix and summon back Barong. Garunix comes back on the next turn. I think I think I circle. Because if he has like a negate card for my Arvada negate, um, then he guarantees get a get some blue eyes, but then if we're destroying this Garunix. Then the blue eye, whatever he summons, just dies anyway. So, I think this is correct. We only need our Vada for this turn to negate anyway. So, I, I don't think we need it for the following turn. Karma cut again. Alright, now we chain lance because now he's wasted four cards to our two cards. Uh, this is correct. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, I feel good about this now. Chain five, and he scoops. <laughs> awesome. Lance circle, dude. Oh my god. That's nuts. Alright, cool. That was a good blue eyes matchup. Let's do another one. We up against an Axel Brody. Is it This is the thing with new characters. It's like, is it actual is it an actual character deck or is it just a ran, a random deck on the character to level it up? That's always the question. Guess we'll find out in a second. Uh it's Hazy's. Okay, so it is a fire deck. Uh, our hand is very good. Uh, I'm not going well. Um, hmm. That's a question here. I'm not going to activate Fire King Island, I don't think. Yeah. Well. No, I guess it doesn't matter. So I was thinking, like, I'm going to negate the Cerberus with Arvada. But I'd be destroying Garunix anyway, and it'd come back. So I'd rather just Fire King Island, destroy Garunix, grab Barong. That way, when I destroy Barong with Arvada, I get another search. And I'm not just kind of sitting on a dead Garunix. Yeah, so we're going to go Battle Phase here. Attack. Cerberus Effect. Negate. Since Arvada is in a gate, in negating the activation, um, it can activate in the damage step. Only cards that either A, modify attack or defense, or B, negate the activation of effects can activate in the damage step. If it just negated the effect, um, it would not be able to activate. But since it negates the activation, then it can activate. Arvada in the graveyard brings back Barong. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. It might have been a misplay. I think Barong has to stay in the graveyard to activate. I was getting hasty. I was, I was, I was in click yes mode. Whoops. Now it definitely doesn't activate because it died in battle. So yeah. That was, that, was a, that was a whoops. No, that's okay though. We're gonna go destroy in hand. Add Arvada, and this should be game because we're gonna go battle phase. Ready? Seventeen. He goes Cerberus. We negate with Arvada by destroying the uh, the Garunix that we just attacked with, and then we attack with Arvada for game. Unless he has like Veil or some shit. Um, if he had Veil though, he'd be able to activate it. And that's gonna be the ball game. Nice. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. The deck is very good. It flows very well. It, it floats incessantly. It, it just, it is so hard to push through, just because of the constant destruction and summoning that it has. Um, I really feel like this has tiered potential. It's not oppressive, because back row deals with it pretty well. But like monster effects, like pure monster decks, and like decks that rely on monster effects are just not good enough to deal with the deck but back row decks definitely do but because of cyber dragon being in the meta back row decks aren't very prevalent so like a lot of the decks right now are like the only back row they're really maining is karma cut um which kind of hurts this deck a little bit because it just banishes the arvada or it banishes the garunix which can be a pain um and i guess some other down downsides the deck can rely on fire king island a little bit too much but like you either want to open A, Arvada, or B, Fire King Island. So like you have an 80% chance to open one of those six. Um, and you also want to open like Garunix and Barong. 
uh, or like Fire King Island is like nine that makes that nine that you want to open technically so I mean the numbers are there for sure for the consistency of this deck and it has good room for defensive text like it doesn't die to Cyber Dragon very easily because if they summon Rampage with three attacks they beat over they attack you or they beat over your monster they attack you directly for 21 you activate Veil summon it and you gain that 20, 21 back and then they attack over Veil and then on your turn you just trigger Jaw for like Rekindling or like the Fire King Island that you need, pop Garunix, and then Garunix comes back and nukes the their whole fusion field. So, I mean, it, like the deck is very resilient uh, because of the hand traps. I really do think Kiteroid and Veil is the way to go with this deck. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try and hit King of Games with this deck. Um, until then, I will see you in the next one. Probably Hazy Flame tomorrow. I'm going to mess around with that deck. So stick around for that. I will see you in the next one. Peace.